currently on the surface of the red planet itself and I think we're doing pretty well here. We have a couple of domes that are starting to turn over, making themselves all the advanced materials that we need to be a self-sustaining colony on this planet. There are a few things that I know we are running short of though. If we come over here, I'm just going to slow us right down to normal speed here. If we come over here, you can see that I have got a shortage of polymers. Also, a bit of a shortage of power. These are two things that are only, only going to get worse if we carry on ignoring them. So let's try and do something about that. We could put more solar panels down but I don't think that's the I don't think that's the key here what we're gonna do is put down a whole bunch of these wind turbines now obviously I would like to eventually make the whole power system sterling generators if we come over here and have a look you can see sterling generators are only run off of a single bit of a polymer the reason that I would like to do that is all to do with self sustainability you can see that you only have a certain amount of metal on the go at any one time you also only have a certain amount of rare metals on the go at any one time and whilst we've been doing quite quite well at keeping a backlog on the go we will run out at some point now obviously metals are what run things like the um wind power here and actual metal itself runs the solar plant so I'd like to be able to turn my entire thing over to polymers because that literally just runs off of water which with the vaporator that's the word I'm looking for is an entirely renewable sort of resource uh, and then you add fuel which is made from water so uh, you know that's kind of like the the big cycle system there so let's try and do that let's just throw in uh, another production over here polymer factory that's what we want let's pop that down here oh look 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 we got we got a we got a thing going on down down by this dome and i wasn't aware that it was a well not a problem but a thing i did not know it was a thing do i want to put it this side i think i do I, I'm, I'm worried about the cable connections i'm worried about where things go uh can i do it that way instead Okay, that one works out pretty well. We've got we've got a sterling generator here. Let's open it up, double the power production. Look at that, it put, put us over the uh, required here. So we got that, we got that. Another thing I would like to do is possibly put up an, another apartment in this room in, uh, over here. As we've got a, a new polymer factory, I think that'd be a good idea. So life support, no, no, no. We want homes, education, and other buildings like such. Apartments, turn it around. Yeah, that looks good. We've got a nice little like V shape on the go there. We could probably do with putting down a few comfort zones up in that top place there, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. If we come over towards my research, you can see that we're working on quite a few things here that are looking pretty tasty. In particular, the Sterling Generator and the CO2 Jet Propulsion. These are what I'm looking forward to mostly. In fact, I'm going to swap these around. I'm going to bring the the stove bring the sterling generator down the list because whilst yeah no that's great i would really like to get this uh, shuttle hub built because then we can start moving people from one hub to another and that will be incredibly incredibly useful but as you can see here i've got a little bit of a problem i've got no research labs no science institutes these things are problems for how uh, we are carrying on with the game now, there's something else I want to mention whilst carrying on with the game. You can see that uh, I've got a little bit of a scroll wheel on the go here. I'm not sure if you're aware that the game is limited on how far out you can scroll before you end up going to the map view here. But uh, not for me. Oh, no, I can zoom all the way out here. So I've got this mod on the go. Another mod that I have, and I literally only have the two right now, is that uh, times two and times three just were not fast enough. So instead, I've got a times three and a times five speed accelerate there. So that should help out a wonder. Let's in fact click there and watch these guys build this polymer factory, which shouldn't take too long. Metals and machine parts only, but thankfully that will then start start getting a whole a bunch of polymers rolling so I'm, I'm gonna go now down to here we're, we're getting a new set of apartments made we're gonna we're gonna go to the passenger resupply I literally want passengers uh, what have we got highlighted here you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clear all of this and I just want literally just want a bunch of guys with no specializations because I've, 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 I've got a whole load of people actually no let's let's do engineers as well let's just do it like that because I want to I want to stock up my factories um, I want to make sure that my productions are ticking off quite well. We've got geologists, we've got botanists. Factories are what it's all about now. Coming into my floors, I'm not interested in gamblers. Um, as much as I hate to say it, I'm also not interested in gamers. 
uh, not lazy. Uh, the reason being, you can see that, uh, let's read it there, has a 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when visiting a casino. Can be caused by sanity breakdowns and that plus gambling. Okay, so that plus gambling is a very important part of this game. This, uh, the plus is how they get their comfort back. Uh... I don't want to build casinos because there's all sorts of problems with casinos. Uh, not really. It's just my own personal. Uh, maybe when we get something called the sanatorium where we can cure said, said things, maybe we can work on that. But uh, so gambler, I don't want that. And also if we come back to uh, quirks, no, not quirks. Oh, but we do want the guru to come come along with us. Uh, perks then. It must be perks. Because one of these gamers, hmm, now it sounds good. It's in a perks slot. But that means I've got to put somewhere down where people can do gaming, and to do that costs uh, costs electronics on the maintenance. I'm not swimming in electronics right now, so I'm going to turn that off as well. Beyond that, I think we're all good. We haven't got any saints waiting to go, so that's amazing. Let's start with the engineer. We don't want seniors. Let's come back. I know we cleared off all the age groups, but I don't. I don't really want seniors, and I don't really want middle age. As long as I haven't cleared the saint out with that, I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, so let's go. Coward religious sounds good to me. I'm just going to look down the top ones. Party animal. Like we've got a social place, right? We've got the gym and we've got the dining bar, so that should be good. Uh, uh, tourist, uh, gam wait, 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 tourists? I should not have think so. How dare you. Uh, quirks, is that the one? Yeah, no, I, I don't want tourists. Thanks very much, but no. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I'm just going to click down the top ones and see if there's anything in particular that I don't want to have. Like I say, I'm, uh, I'm trying to stay away from drinking... Drinking, gaming, and gambling. These are the ones that I do not want. I'm also trying to avoid the idiots, if at all possible, because you can, as you can see there, they take a 10% chance to cause a malfunction, and that then kicks up the chance of you needing to put maintenance down. And I'd rather not be working through maintenance that much, you know? That just doesn't seem great to me. Uh, idiot, alcoholic, and glutton. We're not going to take them. Uh, enthusiastic hypochondriac. That sounds pretty good. A composed idiot. No, 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 no. Uh, glutton. Again, we'll, we'll wait. Oh, no, we won't wait. We've only got the one page. Mm, matching colonist 12. We'll take you all then. Uh, okay, there we go. Welcome. Welcome to Mars. Uh... 12 passengers space, but only, uh, yeah, they'll just, just launch anyway, because we are building a new place over here, a brand new city, a brand new world, somewhere where people can come, throw off the old life, the old shackles from Earth, and come experience what the true meaning of life is, here where just about everything can kill you, including going outside for a walk, because why why would you not want to come live here? Uh, so we've had a crop failure, we've been getting a lot of crop failures recently, there was an update, um yesterday, day before, something like that. And I've been playing a lot of casual games since then. Wow. Crop failures. They're a big thing now, and I don't know why. It's not like yeah, well, I am missing one person here. But it's not like they're generally very, very short of food. So that's... Am I doing alright just on this one hydroponic setup? Is that, is that actually all the food I've got going here? Yet yeah, we've got stacks and stacks of food being saved up. I am I'm shocked, actually. Honestly and truly shocked. I would, uh, I would like to have. No, I would have thought that we would have needed like an actual farm. The actual farms are normally where I get the majority of my food products from. But you know, if, if this can do it, then this can do it. I mean, we've got 180 stacked there. We've got just a little less than 180 stacked on that one, and it looks like all my food places are well looked after. All right, cool. I'm gonna wait until these guys have got their uh, their act together. Maybe built this little uh, this little place here. We are short of one polymer. That's fine. And uh, hopefully these guys will be ready for a landing. Oh dear, the last. Family Founder has died. Shush, shush, voiceover guy in the background. I don't care. Uh, the founder, Kabir Mangal, has died. Cause old age. Thankfully, it is very rare that I kill any of my founders by any other means other than old age. So I don't, I don't think I have actually have anybody dying other than old age in any of my colon colonies ever, uh, which is quite good. I know there used to be a little bit of a bug with the uh, the shuttle hubs where they could just like go outside and wander around forever, uh, but hopefully that's all a fix. We're getting pretty pretty close to that guy coming down so instead of doing the the cut again let's uh wait for them to go all right that's pretty good bring this down to real speed and yeah it looks good let's just drop them down he's going to bring a little bit of food and some more people just just as the apartment is getting itself built so that should work out 
pretty well for us. Now, I noticed that we've got this uh, big open space here. And you remember I was saying how I don't have research labs. Bam! Let's put that in place there. Uh, what else can we put down? I'm feeling another nursery. Now, you might be asking why. That's because we've got a school here. Yeah, and we want to try and sort that out. Survivor composed nerd. I think one of these is not what I want. Let's get rid of this survivor. I'd rather have them being enthusiastic because I don't run out of food and water, right? That's, that's kind of the trick there. <coughs> if I was running out of food and water, the survivor trait would be amazingly good. But uh, as I don't, I'd rather have them better at working. So that sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to leave this spot open, this one here for now, because I want to make sure that I have a spot to do anything that is un unforeseen, you know, th research things that oh hey, research complete, things that I do not see coming, there, there's going to be something something that these people want if I come, click in here and look over here you can see they want shopping, drinking gaming and social I knew why have we got gamers, we shouldn't have gamers, but two people are needing to go shopping and I was fairly sure that's what this was about, uh, let's, let's have a look it's dining, social and food okay, maybe not, okay, so social, uh, shopping, see immediately fixing the thing that we said we needed to do. Shopping and luxury, let's do that. Uh, though drinking and game, there's the gaming thing. You can see that it takes, uh, oh no, it consumes one electronics and then you need to maintain with, uh, Maintain with concrete, that's the word I'm looking for there. Oh, they're, they are all like that. So most of these consume power. This one consumes food as well, that's fine. Today I have le just learned a new thing by looking at it properly for the first time. Crazy. Luxury gambling... I mean, like, that does that. But that that is the casino. So casino actually overrides the need for the art workshop, but does cost you two electronics so i would definitely need to have better things going there whereas the art workshop actually just consumes polymers so uh, with the the second shift that's firing up on the polymer factory over there that should make everything a-okay right you guys you got fuel coming in right if i uh, have a look over here our fuel production was around somewhere i thought it was down here here. I'm probably completely wrong. Where is our fuel producer? Here it is. Okay, over here. Uh, doing all right. We're making 12 a day. We've got stored of 13, so we have more than a day's worth stored up. And then if we come and look over here. Oh, yeah, we have got all the fuel. All right, cool. Let's see what happens here. We're going to have to start actually figuring out what's going on with uh, this section over here. Maybe even rip down these power accumulators and then figure out if... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's rip this one down and this one down and as well. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to clear this whole side off uh, because I want to be able to get the new concrete extractor in there. I say new one, another concrete concrete extractor. Mm hmm. Yes, words. They are things that I use every day yet still struggle with badly. Okay, so this is the one that I really want to clear out. Let's go to the production section and go con concrete extractor uh something like like that oh we have a blocking node just over there do you reckon we can move that little bit of uh i, th I think we can i i think we can very much move that little bit there which way would we go let's pull out our power and figure out which way to reroute it before down here Look at this, perfect. Okay, before salvaging. Uh, let's get our salvage out and go, boom, broken, broken. Yeah, okay, that's nice. I like that, I like that. Recharge station somewhere, actually, no, <laughs> that was power, not production. All right, cool. This should now just fit in nicely in there. Still not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Maybe we could have gone back one more. I'm looking at this section under these ones, but uh, we'll, we'll make do. We will make do. You got refueled yet? No. All right, I'll be back when this guy can get get out of here. Go on, get. No oh, man, he's still laden with food. This is this is our problem: is that we keep getting food with these rockets that bring passengers, and we just we just stockpiling, just stockpiling everywhere. Though it turns out that we cannot get. Oh, that's electronics. That's all right. That's polymers Neither and concrete. Design. Concrete seems to be a bit of an issue right now. That's why we're getting this second one fired up. Also, thankfully, when this dome gets running, do we have a? Oh, we do have a drone hub on the go here. We could just pop down another one over here 
here as we don't seem to be making use of the power on this system. Now I want to try and figure out a way of getting many running next to each other if at all possible. Uh, let's go for that. It's annoying that we've got this sort of tessellation on the go. Look how far out I'd have to do to make that. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then we can come in like this maybe like that there we go we've got three up and well i say three up and running we've got three queued up ready to go that should hopefully work out pretty well for us to get a good good stockpile of concrete on the go whether we're going to have the uh, the the liquid to support our lifestyle from now on i don't know i don't know where, where is our water field do we have a water field anywhere doesn't actually look like we do let's zoom all the way out so we can see it properly uh we've got a couple of waters down here here's a good water field somewhere over here oh man those those boulders boulders falling from the sky should have called them meteorites but the, but there we go look look at this look at there bam another one over here hit it go no slam anybody Bam! All right, cool. Anyway, I'll bring it back when I've figured out what I'm going to do next. We seem to have a big problem with relaxation in this dome. If you have a look, we've got two for gaming, one for shopping. An auto save. You have not been very helpful. Two for gaming, one for shopping, one for drinking. Eight for relaxation. I mean, like, what are we supposed to do there? And then someone needs to do some play as well. But I, I, I was fairly sure we could do that with that little bit of alleyway there. So let's try and get a little something to relax. I'm, I'm guessing... There we go. Services, relaxation, enjoyment, and playing. Okay, that's good. Stone gun. Does the small alleyways do that as well? Small alleyways do do that as well. So we're just going to shove that in like that. And hopefully that will do us a, a good... And are you still full of food? You're still full of food. This place definitely suffering from a bit of an underpopulation crisis. You can see there's 14 people here. Uh, we are one short of being able to totally upgrade this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to break that and go, go. If you could, please, I want to completely get rid of it. We're, we're going to end up with one person being a little bit homeless there. <laughs> being a little bit homeless there let me uh, let me rephrase that um and that should be fine though because we should why why are you off get get turned on what's wrong with you oh i do have a hmm i don't remember doing that turning my research station off but that's fine that's fine uh, as long as it's all up and working now we're gonna get some apartments and pop them in there uh maybe make these the highest of priorities so that we can end up getting them running pretty fast the lack of polymers actually really a big problem right now uh we've got a f nearly fully stocked one on the go over here it would be really nice if we could do something about that can we just get you offloading your food somewhere let's let's do this i want i want to get you out of here clark you're uh, taking up too much room let's pop you down over here that looks pretty good and hopefully these guys will now just swing into action look at them all go all over here this is like a swarm oh they they are they're cool. They're really cool. Look at this. Oh, no. Buildings in the way. Buildings in the way. And off they go, shipping everything from one place to another. Actually, that's looking pretty good. We're near enough out of food outside there. So let's do two, one, zero. Anybody? Anybody going to get it? There's always that one guy left. Always one. It just has to be a little bit more awkward than all the others. Okay, cool. Uh, Clark is on his way out of here. Go, go, go. Go. Indeed, time flies. The, uh, the day of the final Mars valuation is drawing near. You have 10 souls to complete your evaluation object. Have 40 technologies researched by day 100. Uh, we've got 30 right now. We, we appear that we're going to fall a little bit short. Is there any like really cheap stuff we can get turning over pretty quick? I'm, I'm not sure. Like the, the things we've got here are super, super important. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it in 10 days. We're getting like less than 700 per soul. Now, I have noticed that with this one because 1500 to research um let's let's click it up there quick cost 1500 to research right we can come into here and get a thousand of that for 200 million but when we spend that we're going to get 1000 million back so uh I, I could even spend two of these like if i do that and then do that we, we're going to be in positive by the end of this so that that's going to help something along even if it is just my money and to turn that over quickly these guys look like they could do with a little bit of fast turnover as well this one is a little bit cheap um but let's let that run let's let that run another thing i'm looking at here is this dome this dome uh is 
Comfortable enough for people to be having children? Let's have a look. No, no, it's not comfortable to have children. Why are not? Uh, luxury services are not available. Thank you. Uh, dining is not available. Dining should be available. Ah, no, dining is not available. Okay, so we need to try and do something to uh, shift people around here. They don't have shopping or drinking. All this stuff is actually available in this dome over here from the diner, if I remember correctly. Dining, social food. So no drinking, but still very, very well covered over here. What we need to do is try and find a dome somewhere where we can make people uh, comfortable enough with if they're ridiculous wants, you know? Um, so if they're not wanting to have children there, I'm not that bothered by that. I, we'll, we'll make this the place where people want to have children. We've got uh, drinking, relaxation, and playing being things that people need to sort out, but that's fine. We have a dozen of both males and females wanting to have children. Children are literally being spat out all the time over here. That's good. Population growth is a winner, but still not, not quite as good as we could hope for. Um, yeah, it could definitely do with being a little bit better on that. Uh, so over here, I think it's time we started thinking about how we could get this one actually running, as it appears that most of the concrete isn't uh, working there. So that that's fine. That's just going to tick over in the the rate it needs to tick over at. That's, that's all good. Uh, we're going to have a metals production facility and, of course, another polymer production facility here. Oh, look, people are stacking stuff up this way. Stuff getting stacked down here. Well, we got some food has made it this far. Not sure why. Not, we, don't, we, don't, we don't particularly need food, but that, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, how do we make this place super nice to live? Well, of course we do that by going... Oh, look, we've got the medium dome ready to get uh, researched at some point. Uh, we're gonna have... An apartment up top there. We might even end up having a two, but between those two apartments, we'll put some nice stuff in between as well. Uh, I'm going to put like a garden up front here. Uh, then we will take a... Let's have a look. What do we want? We want a nursery, definitely. That nursery can come in here, and we'll have an infirmary wherever the infirmary is kept. Can we have the autosave going on, please? Thanks. Uh, infirmary is right there. Okay, very important on almost every dome. Uh, I'm going to put a statue to my glory in the middle, because glories, of course. Uh, and now we need to think about what this place is actually doing. It is going to turn over in the production area here. A machines part factory as it's got access to metals native up there. We're going to put a polymer factory just here, so that should work out pretty well as well. And then we've got two do two set slices here for balancing out the colonist needs and wants. Still waiting on most of the research to get done here. Let's go back over. This one very nearly done, and then robotics will follow it up pretty quickly afterwards. You can see the outsourcing is working well. Their sponsor, outsourcing research labs and explorers. We could probably do with trying to figure out other ways of getting research done, but we've only got 10 days to try and finish this stuff in and I, I just I, I'm not feeling like it's gonna get done why is this store concrete is Research full okay complete. there we go Mars crowdfunding I knew I knew it would happen eventually uh, and that's like giving us a boost in money look at how much money we've got oh that's so good uh, do we want to then spend some of that thousand that we just got on more outsourcing I'm kind of feeling like we do let's uh, let's spend two more on outsourcing and yet we're still up in money from that so that that should be pretty good that should be pretty good Okay, so the biggest complaint from this place is shopping and dining. So let's try and do something about that. I know we've got some like pretty serious park work on the go here, but let's get rid of that and uh, show them how ruthless we can be with making sure that all our colonists' needs are met. Uh, down here, we wanted the dining area because that seemed to be the thing that everybody was having a complaint about. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Diner. All right, let's just throw it in this side. Obviously, we're getting just a little bit too full for people to go from the grocery here. Uh, scanning has completed. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just do this. Uh, it turns out new update made it so that we could like click many now. So that's pretty good. Up to nine. Oh, that might be a mod, but um, I don't think uh, literally, as I said, I, I, inst I installed the zoom mod and I installed the faster time warp mod. So I, d I don't know whether, you know, this is actually part of any of those and they just didn't mention it to me or something. 
silly like that? I don't know. I don't know. So one of the things I really want to get on a go here is uh, in my infrastructure. Let's go have a look. Down here we have a tunnel. How good would it be to have a tunnel running from here all the way down? Moreover, I mean, either way, down to here. Too far. That's not fun. What? How dare you? How dare you? I don't mind that it's a little bit too far from any working drone commander. We can sort that out. I just wanted to have a way of traveling through too far. That is massively unfortunate. What about like over here to over here? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we can make this work. We can make this work. I want my beagle. Come over here. You're going to be part of the team for this. I don't know whether we're going to actually be able to do this like this, but I'm definitely going to give it a go. Uh, does this pass? I don't know. We'll wait. We'll wait until it gets set up. We need a lot of stuff for it, though. A lot of stuff. Concrete, metals, and machine parts are a go. I don't know if this has got the coverage for it, though. It can get metals, and uh, I think that's about it. It can get metals from here. So we'll... we'll gather all those up we're gonna get our little rc opportunity here should be able to go and load up on all the concrete go, go and grab that and we'll uh, deliver that down what was the other thing machine parts now that's a little bit more awkward we do have a stock of machine parts just not quite as many as i would like we also have a building without aha the day has come. We knew we knew it would happen eventually, but here we go. We no longer have metals coming from this area over here. I'm quite happy to let that happen, though, as we've got more metals nodes being exploited elsewise, and uh, including over here. No power. No power. We can definitely do something about that. That's a sensor tower, not a power system. Um, let's let's go for more of these. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I want, but we're, we're going to try. Uh, how sure are we of power? Double. Okay. All right. Let's let's uh, let's put some more in. Uh, as many as we can actually fit in like that. Okay. Let's let's let that run. Let that run, and that should do us okay. It's a shame that it's decided to uh, kick up a few problems now, but we'll uh, we'll work with it. Why are there no drones? Have I not got the research yet that enables these to work autonomously? Uh, no. No idea don't no active research sterling generator done nice we will take some of this low cost research now try and push ourselves up as far down the oh what is this one what oxygen and power storage capacity is expanded by 50 i'll take that nice uh try and get these cheap ones done to get my evaluation finished but i, I just don't think we're gonna get it done we've got 1500 research per soul so this will just happen in a day day and a bit day and a bit day and a bit day and a bit uh, maybe maybe it's gonna be so super close Okay, last thing for today. We've got our little dudes running around moving the machine parts off the back of my RC transport and coming down and delivering them to this tunnel here. Whilst they're also doing that, there's a few other things I would like to get sorted here. I need pipes because the main reason that I am building this is to move water back. Uh, that's as far as we can go with that, so let's do that like that. That should be pretty sweet. And I believe it can also move power, but don't hold me to this because it was a little bit janky last time I tried to do this. Uh, uh, so that far and that far turns out you can only build about that much pipe in one go that's a, a little bit of a shame but over here how are we doing we're at 24 parts right now 25 let's uh, let's up the priority here and get ourselves a few more drones what what where? what where are you what hey where are you guys going let's turn that priority back down doesn't doesn't seem to be working how I wanted it. Uh, let's unload those resources. resources That's right. really confusing. Why have you just suddenly done that, guys? Why have you just suddenly done that? Let's offload those and move this way a little bit. Are you... Anybody? Just just, just finish this up? Oh, look, I found a little uh, little slide that I didn't know existed. You can change how far its, ser uh, its service area extends. Uh, it's still not so great for putting these machine parts in place, though. There's literally just four to go, guys. Why, why won't you do it? I'm going to try. I'm literally going to do a reload. We're going to save this quick. Um, what, just somewhere. Doesn't seem to want to do it. All right, I'm going to use my RC dude to go and offload a load of stuff somewhere. Do we have a universal depot over here? This this probably would help out. Is that that's a universal depot question mark? No, that's just a little bit of concrete. All right, let's uh, let's come in here. Let's get ourselves one of these universal depots. I don't really like using these guys for the shifting of stuff like this. I, like um, 
you would imagine that there would be a trade network going from all these places that would help stuff get shuffled around as and when is needed. But if you have a look, it's really slow. It's It does happen, but it is so, so slow. Uh, basically, one of these would have to, uh, like queue itself up a job be like yeah i definitely need a new part and then the new part will then start getting delivered through the network and that's just that is super slow super 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 slow so it doesn't seem to want to do it like this okay uh I mean, I like the universal storage there. It's a good idea. I wish I could have got this closer to the drone hub. As you can see, we're just outside of the sphere of influence. That's what, well, the hex of influence is what I'm going to call it. So we can drive around with less than half the battery life as well. So that's pretty good. He's just going to stop here and wait. And now this guy should hopefully come along, get his drones out and start doing this. Any second now? Go, go, go. Is that, is that going to get him fixed? It's not going to get him fixed. This is uh, more than a little bit vexing, actually. All right, I'm going to fold and put myself down a drone hub right here and see if this does anything to actually make this work. Uh, it needs metals and electronics and like still takes electronics to actually be maintained. So I'm a li little bit annoyed that this is what I've had to come down to doing. Um, uh, there should be a thing somewhere that says... Oh, well, try a... Uh, whatever. Uh, there should be a thing somewhere that means that my drone hubs don't actually need to use that stuff anymore but i can't find it it doesn't look like we've got that particular bit of research right now okay just as my rover has returned we've got the drone hub going up now is is this gonna make it do its work are, are you guys gonna do the things that need doing i don't know i i actually honestly don't know like my, mostly i'm wondering why these guys have come over here uh i suppose that's because they have access to both this place and that so that would be the reason why do we have any more going down 28 is was that more yeah that is more that is more okay cool maybe this guy's gonna come finish us off here that's one more oh man i, I need to wait yes and then you as well oh it's gonna work i think it might actually finally do the thing that we wanted to do there's a weird little bug there weird little bug when i changed the priority the drone commander couldn't do it anymore so we can see this construction is taking a little bit of time here but thankfully it's building both sides at once so we don't have to worry too much about it though it is still quite a trek from there to down here uh, it would have been nicer if we could do it there but maybe i'll put another tunnel in and we'll work off like that but i think with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time we're gonna take advantage of this new trans transportation system we've put in place here and try and get ourselves all the water on the map but i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye